is. I don't know, fight fans, we are set to go with our next bout tonight. Our co-featured attraction of the evening, 10 rounds, this scheduled in the junior featherweight division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the red corner. Wearing tonight yellow with black, he weighed it officially 121 and one half pounds. This veteran of 30 professional bouts brings an outstanding record that stands at 25 victories. Five defeats with 18 big wins coming by way of knockout. Hailing from Tijuana, Baja California, Mexico, here is David Morita de la Mora. And next his opponent across the ring, finding out of the blue corner. He wears silver trunks trimmed in the flag of Mexico and the USA. He weighed it officially 122 pounds even and brings a perfect record that stands at 14 victories. No defeats with five wins coming by way of knockout. He is the fighting son of Vacaville, California, the undefeated Manuel Tino. Referee in charge of the action is Pat Russell. All right, there's the line right there. There's the line right there. Ten rounds, touch him up. Good luck, come out of the belt. Junior featherweight action ready to go. Ten rounds. David Morita de la Mora, Manuel Tino Avila. You want to call him Manuel? He said that's his legal name, but everybody calls him Tino. From Vacaville, California, 22-year-old, undefeated, 14-0, five KOs. An exciting up-and-coming prospect. And there you see David Delamora, 25-year-old also, but he has 30 fights under his belt from nearby Tijuana. And always good fighter coming out of Tijuana. Delamora wearing the yellow and black. Avila, white trunks with the USA flag on one side, Mexican flag on the other. Ten rounds. Two fighters that match up very well against each other. And you see Avila trying to establish a sharp jab. He's not stepping in with it yet. He's trying to see what kind of reaction he gets from Delamora. And from there, maybe he'll be able to set up some other offenses. Delamora came out aggressive at first, but now he's waiting too. So a little bit of a feel-out process as the fight gets started. And Manuel Atino Avila coming off a tough fight in February. That was in Salinas against Enrique Cavedo. That was a tough one that went the distance. That was a fight where Cavedo came on strong towards the end, but Avila showing composure. And that one getting the win, proving a 14-0. Here he's against Morita de la Mora, an aggressive fighter. Former WBC FedEx box Bantamweight champ in 2010, a regional title that he held. Good right hand there by de la Mora. De la Mora wearing the red gloves. Very quiet. Both these fighters kind of quiet spoken. Just let their hands gonna fly. That's what they said. Tino, yeah, he's a boxer. That's all I do. Takes a right hand from Delamora. Both guys, you know, with some hand speed there. Both guys trying to set up some sharp combinations, some sharp shots. Junior featherweight weighing 122 pounds. Good right hand from Avila. Two fighters feeling each other out. Schedule for 10. I can see two guys just coming out and jumping on top of each other here. Good jab by Avila, too. You know, he's just come out trying to establish that. And he is a taller guy, so if he can win this jab war, you know, it'll, it'll, he'll be the one who controls the distance. And with both guys looking to fight a speed fight, the guy who controls the distance is going to have an advantage. Lamora well, asked him, what do you know about your opponent? Uh, he's taller. That's it. 5'7", a 5'4". Avila in the white. On the ropes. Good right hand from De La Mora. Avila gets away. Good body shot from De La Mora. Good opening round for both the fighters. The more from Tijuana. Thirty seconds to go in the opening round. Scheduled for ten. Delamora, Avila, Tino Avila. All his fights have been in California, He's making a name for himself in the Golden State. Co-main event tonight. Del Mar. Ten seconds to go in the opening round. Schedule for ten. Del Mar Fairgrounds. Del Mora and Avila. Junior featherweights. Letting them go.
Second round, getting ready to go. There you see Tino Avila on your screen. Ten rounds scheduled for the junior featherweight division. Avila and White against David Delamora. 30 fights under his belt. He's 25 and 5, 18 KOs. He's wearing yellow and gold. Tonight's CompuBox stats are brought to you by ThrowdownFantasy.com. Draft fighters track stats and win, along with former two-time world champion Pauli Malinaji. I'm Bethel Duran and Jessica Rosales, also a third member of our crew. Ow. As he goes down, David Delamora gets tagged with a big left hook by Tino Avila and is down in the second round. He's getting counted by Pat Russell. A count. And they're going to let this one go. A big left hook from Tino Avila. Avila with the right. Avila with the right. Another right. Working the body. As Russell says, he didn't go down. As he's coming out strong, Tino Avila, exciting fighter, is just letting his hands go as Delamora is on the ropes in the corner. Another left from Avila, another right from Avila. As Delamora is trying to land his own, he's tagged again, holding on. Oh, he was hit big by Avila, as Delamora was held up by Avila. Big power shots for Tino Avila. Delamora was trying to fight while he was hurt before, now. Now he knows he's already trying to And now he goes down for the second time in this round. Tino Avila with some big, heavy hands. As Pat Russell is counting out, it doesn't look, and he does. At the nine, he comes up. And he is wobbly. A minute 20 to go. He's looking to his corner. Pat Russell is going to let this one continue. Tino Avila has five KOs in his career. Tags him with the big right. As he held up again, another left. Tino Avila with a big right hand, and it is over. Manuel Tino Avila dominates David Delamora. A second round knockout. Spectacular, spectacular, Beto. I mean, this kid, a great poker face, never showed any emotion, was patient in the way he was at stalking and fighting Delamora the whole time, waited for his opportunity, and when he had it, he pounced. I mean, that first knockdown, a short right hand, is make sure the distance was correct for that huge left hook. I'm sure we're going to get a look at it in a little bit. But that first knockdown, picture-perfect setup as Delamora came in recklessly. Just stuck out the right hand to make sure he had distance and just cocked his left hook and really, really got a lot of mustard on it. And then obviously the finish, very mature finish. He stayed composed, didn't get too wild, and made sure to get the, the win. All three knockdowns in the second round, Holly. And here we're going to get a, a chance to see it now. It's the first knockdown. It's Delamora. You're going to see Delamora attacking. You see Avila gives up ground. You see that right hand. You see he kind of threw out the right hand. It was more of an arm punch. It was more of an arm punch. And then he it gave him this for that hook. He's a second knock. He's in the second knockdown. And at this point, Del Delamora is hurt. It's just Avila being sharp and, and being aggressive. Again, different angle, same knockdown. Knockdown number two. You have Delamora against the ropes. He's already hurt. Short, crisp shots. Never got wild. This is what I mean by the maturity and the pose. He's only 21 years old. Showing a lot of maturity in pose. This is the finally the final knockdown, which ended the fight. And again, Delamora at this point is hurt. He's trying to fight. He's got a lot of heart, but walks into another right hand as Avila times him with his own right hand and gets him out of there. Manuel Tino Avila. Huge knockdown. Knocks down his opponent three times in the round. The kid from Vacaville. Impressive in Del Mar. Tonight's CompuBox stats are brought to you by ThrowdownFantasy.com. Draft fighters, track stats, and win. And the big punch is brought by Tino Avila. And let's go to our ring announcer tonight, Joe Martinez. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes at the official time. One minute, 52 seconds, round number two. Referee Pat Russell puts a halt to the contest for your winner by KO victory. He is still undefeated, Manuel Tino Avila. And here you can see the replays coming your way for impressive night from Tino Avila.